Hello viewers in this video we are going to talk about Petronet LNG it is a government owned company 50% shares of this company are with the government so before i speak i need to tell you one thing that this video is only for research and educational purpose only right this video will include many of my opinions it will also include facts but at the end of the video it is up to you and it is only you who can decide whether this company is worth investing or not so let's begin so this is the stock of the company 261.75 is the closing price of today the stock closed at 1.23% and the chart which you are looking at is its maximum chart the company was launched in march 2004 26 and the stock started at 7.33 and the whole long term journey of this company is very positive it has given around 3700% return in these 20 or 15 16 years okay so let's have a look at its website the website is www.petronetlng.com so this is a company which operates in storage and transfer transport of liquefied natural gas okay lng means liquefied natural gas so this is its whole business it has three terminals the h lng terminal kochi lng terminal and solid cargo port these are its three main terminals right so the reason what i am why i am talking about this company is because of the news first of all and the future plans of this company these are few things which made me positive about this stock and i will let you know about that but before we get to that let's let us see its recent financial update its profit and loss and the balance sheet okay So this is the consolidated financial result of this company Petronet LNG. So first let's have a look at quarterly trend. So revenue total revenue from the operations in March 20 was 8653 crore rupees and in the past in the previous year in the same quarter March the total revenue was 8 8534 crore rupees. so the revenue has not really improved it is just by 1 or 1.5% okay so you know the downfall the downfall is because of the current situation the lockdown the demand was low the consumption was low so that's why the sale was also low the compressive income is also affected because of that the net profit see in the last year the profit was 463 crore rupees and now the profit is only 370 mind you we are talking about only the quarterly trend so the result has fallen down by 21% okay now let us have a look at the yearly trend last year 2019 versus 2020 so the net profit in the last year was 2228 crore rupees and now in this year the profit is 2700 crore rupees so if you look at the increase on a year on basis of the net profit then it is around 21% which is great the the impact is also seen in the earning per share last year's earning per share was 14.87 and the current year is 18 rupees so the earning per share has also increased by 20 21% only the quarterly trend is negative we all know the reason the quarterly trend is negative not because that due to company's failure or the management's failure it was due to the external uncontrollable reasons so suppose if the, there was no lockdown and suppose the consumption was similar then we could see uh, even the 31st march 20 result to be positive compared to its previous year but anyway we cannot control these situations so yes in this recent quarter the result was down by 21% okay now let's move to the balance sheet now we all know that this company operates in the heavy industry segment 
so they have to have huge non current assets right but the major thing for us to see is the debt because any company which has substantial amount of debt compared to its asset is a no no so let's see what petronet lng has so here is the borrowings reported by the company in long term borrowings it is 64 crore rupees only and the previous year borrowing was 101 crore rupees so borrowing has been reduced by almost 36% which is again a positive sign the only concern you might see here is the lease liability which is 3 3339 crore rupees and in the previous year it was absent absent so why is this you see first of all the lease liability cannot be considered as debt that's why it is reported separately lease liability is the amount which the company has to pay to the owner from which they have rented some space it could be a factory it could be a machinery anything so this amount is not something which they have to pay at one time they have to pay it uh, on yearly basis like you pay the rent of your house it is somewhere similar to that so the long term debt if you look at it wholly then it is not really huge okay now let's have a look at the current liabilities so you can see here that the current liabilities the amount they owe to the creditors uh, sorry the amount which the creditors owe to the company is 1166 crore rupees so they have lended this this much amount of product to small micro enterprises okay so but i think that this this again is not a huge concern most of the transactions in any business are based upon trust and 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 and, and a short term loan okay so this is not a huge concern for us as an investor this can be reduced in the upcoming period and if for those if it worries you then let me tell you that the company has enough assets enough short term liquid assets to cover their current liabilities here you can see cash equivalents and the bank balance it is 3455 crore rupees so even if this 1500 crore rupees debt is not paid still they will have around 1500 crore rupees as net okay so the financial position of this company seems to be strong the profit again was also good not uh, not extraordinary but yes it it is a government owned company so compared to its peers of course it has great balance sheet and the income statement okay so we have seen the current situation of the company now let's see about the future plans because the future plans are the ones which make me very positive about this company so let's see what are those so these are some recent news first of all india to end federal control of gas prices lift lng transport use now see india is a large emitter of greenhouse gases and has multiple gas pricing regimes that is to say that the emitation of greenhouse gases uh, that is the gases which produce pollution is huge so what india is planning to do is that we we are encouraging the use of efficient gases efficient gases are natural gas lng or the lpg so what india is doing now is it is promoting lng as a transport fuel the vehicles the trucks they are supposed to be using lng as a transport fuel here is another news related to same see india has launched a made in gas trading platform it has launched a new gas exchange platform it is called as indian gas exchange just like we have bsc bombay stock exchange national stock exchange nsc similarly igx will have gases so the buyer and seller will be able to buy and sell gases at a spot price so this again is a very positive news because companies like petronet lng and any company which which is in the gas production or distribution business had to buy the gases on a long term contracts and they had to import it from other countries 
and which also cost them huge prices huge huge amount to pay but the gas exchange will now allow them uh, transparency and uh, a discount sort of discount because the transparent pricing discovery will give them a chance to buy the gas at a lower price or sell the gas at the price uh, on 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 the demand and supply right so this is a great news for lng uh, our company petronet lng now another situation another point which makes me positive about this company is the company's future plans this is a recent report by the company the company has planned to set up lng dispensing stations all over india and this will be done in three phases phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 okay so in the phase 1 which is 2020 and 2021 in this one year what they are going to do is on the five hi- highways they are going to set up 50 dispensing stations i will tell you in some time what is a dispensing station but first of all have a look at it this is the phase 1 this is the highway which includes delhi mumbai highway mumbai chennai highway ahmedabad mundra highway bangalore mangalore so this whole road will have five gas stations gas dispensing stations right now in the phase 2 the golden quadrilateral will be covered golden quadrilateral is the one it is it is a web of the highways which connects all the metropolitan cities with each other which is uh, which is kolkata bangalore delhi and mumbai so on this on this golden quadrilateral they are going to set up 300 stations this is the phase second and in the phase third they are going to set up uh, i am sorry for the background noise just give me a second we'll pause the video and we'll start it again okay so we were talking about the phase 3 now in the phase 3 the company is going to set up 700 stations all over india so the total will be around 1000 stations all over india these are lng dispensing stations now what is a lng dispensing station now if you look here lng dispensing station is similar to a petrol pump here you see have a look so this this type of tank is there in the in in a truck or in a bus and just like we refill petrol in that tank the lng dispensing station will refuel the tank of the vehicle with this with this fuel lng okay now lng compared to diesel and cng is very much effective if you look at it here then lng in 315 liter of capacity it re- its range is 12.6 r and in cng almost 640 liter is needed double is needed and it gives you the range of only 8 hours so you can see that lng is of course beneficial compared to cng another reason is that with diesel you get 17.8 hour of range in 250 liters so diesel is economical right but it is not beneficial environmentally lng is economically beneficial uh, also it is environmentally friendly so as we saw in the news and the latest update of the government these two india is planning to be self reliant we all know that we have to export oil from the uae or the oil producing countries so in this effort of being self reliant we can see that the government may encourage this sort of use lng and all they have also lifted the lng transport uh, use that is now they are allowing private players to enter into this segment so this dispensing station ca- will also be set by petronet by the government also they will they will support or partner up with private companies here you saw it in the in the report here partnerships with omc 
and authorized CGD entities. So they will also partner up with other players and set up this whole dispensing game. So just like you see the petrol pumps here, the future is of the LNG dispensing stations. And in the end, this is going to help Petronet LNG. This is our company. Okay. Now, for those, th this is a video who don't understand the use of LNG and how it will affect the company. So this is a video titled LNG better than diesel. It is given by DW News uploaded two years before. So this video completely explains you the use of LNG and the future of LNG. So I just saw it and I thought it would be beneficial for some of you who don't know the use of LNG. So I will add this link in the description and, it, and you can watch it. It is just a short video around 4.22 minutes. Okay. So this is the video, right? Now we discussed about LNG, its business, its present situation, balance sheet, income statement. We also discussed about its future. Now let's talk about the pricing and whether the price is right to buy the stock at the current level. Okay. So the market capitalization of this company is around 40,000 crore rupees and the stock is trading at a P of 14.43. Now generally these kind of stocks trade at 18 to 20 PE, right? But due to the current situation, most of the earnings are down. And so this P is the result of that. And it is just for the short term. Once the recovery starts, once the life gets back on road, everything gets normal, then this, this P will trade at 18 to 19 levels. So valuation wise, this company with this market capitalization is still a good buy. It is not overvalued neither undervalued i think it is fairly valued to buy it at the current levels okay but this is not a recommendation do understand i am not a sebi registered investment advisor nor an analyst it is just my opinion okay or a suggestion if you may take it as it is okay now the return on capital employment employed is also great 30.34 very great return on equity is also 21.79% we just saw it okay uh, also the sales growth sales growth is 12.27 percent now the figure 12.27 percent is not really that great okay generally sales growth above 50 15 percent is considered as great but this is somewhere near considering the future plans of this company i think in the upcoming years this sales growth will of course cross 15 percent okay so dividend yield talking about the dividend yield yes it is great because it is a government company so it is a regular dividend paying company for those the company uh, for those who want to take quick advantage of dividend they uh, i have a news for you they can take advantage of it today is 10th of july on 16th of july petronet lng has announced dividend 16 july is the record date and the company has announced 7 rupees per share of dividend. If you compare it with the current price, then it gives you around 2.65% as a dividend with 265 rupees per share of the price. Okay. So yes, in terms of dividend also, it has great, uh, great chances for you. It gives you great dividend and on a regular basis. Let's talk about the competition. Now see this, this company does not have a real competition. Okay. It is, this segment is operated by government. Most of the time, very few private players are there. So what you are looking at is the major competitor of this company is Gale India. But I just checked it and I'll also show you Gale India has a huge debt on its balance sheet and Gale India has various sources of revenue. First of all, so it is huge company, but it has huge debt also. Let's see here. You can see the debt is 6,596 crore rupees. So huge debt and Petronet, let's compare. Petronet has debt of only 83 crore rupees. We just saw it was 64 crore rupees in the 
latest March quarter. So you can compare it even the opportunity with the peers is favorable with Petronet LNG, right? So overall, I feel that Petronet LNG has a future. Another reason for me to consider LNG as an potential investment is Warren Buffett. Now you might say why Warren Buffett? What is the connection with Petronet LNG and Warren Buffett? So I'll tell you, if you Google up Warren Buffett latest deal, so latest deal which is three days ago, Warren Buffett has bought a new company. Let's see what it is and why I think it is linked with Petronet LNG. Okay. So this is a paid article that we'll, we'll have a look at another article. Okay, let's have a look at the Forbes article. So Warren Buffett has bought billion, $10 billion of investment in this company. It's a pipeline company. The name is Dominion Energy. So what, what pipeline exactly? So it is same just as Petronet LNG. It's a natural gas company. Let's see here. Most of the time, you know, the Forbes articles are very confusing. So we have to sort out, we have to filter the information. So let's see. Okay, so see, here is the main part of this article gas pipeline okay let's check find out natural natural gas okay so here Berkshire Hathaway's existing 16,000 mile pipeline supporting his bet that natural gas will put the final bullet into coal and be a mainstay of US power generation for decades to come. This line is very important. You see, even Warren Buffett believes that natural gas will put a final bullet on coal industry. He believes that coal is the thing of the past because it is very co costly, it produces pollution and not a good sign for the environment. But the gas exchanges, sorry, the gas companies are efficient and environmentally friendly. So what Buffett is believing in, in terms of America is that the renewal, renewable energy has great scope. And the same is going through in our country. Only difference is that we are using LNG right now as a fuel for the vehicles. But maybe somewhere near future, government might uh, place policies and encourage LNG, LNG as a fuel even to produce electricity. So the Warren Buffett's deal, Petronet, the government, the economy, all these things are favorable and the plans of the Petronet seems to be achievable in the near term, f near term future because what they have forecasted for the future is very much positive and achievable. It's not something that they have planned huge, uh, huge target or something. It is very much achievable, and I think that it might really be uh, get conceived, and we can see in reality. Just like petrol pumps are there in each and every highway on each and every road. Similarly, there may in future we will see that LNG dispensable. Uh, stations will be there and all the credit will go to Petronet LNG. So anyone who has that vision, who can see the future, he can invest in this company and he has a chance to get a multi-bagger. I don't even know really whether it will be a multi-bagger or not. I just know that these plans seem to be great. Okay. Now it depends on you. What are your conclusions and what you think of this company? So that's all for now and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video if you have any doubts you can comment in the uh, comment box and anyone who feels that i have missed something or i have forgotten something or i have uh, said something which is wrong then you can definitely point out the mistakes which is 
which will help me to make better videos in 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 the coming days okay so that's it thank you for watching